This video is brought to you by 3, bringing you 4G at no extra cost. Hey guys, welcome to BTECT. It's Basil here with the HTC J Butterfly 2, a Sony Xperia Z3, and a little bit of water in the background. That's because today we're going to be performing a underwater speaker test. Well, sort of. We're going to do a conventional speaker test. These are two of the only phones with stereo speakers and waterproofing. So we're going to compare how the front-facing speakers perform out of water. We've noticed in the past though, when you do dunk one of these phones, the speakers perform significantly worse afterwards. So we're going to see how they perform before dunking and how they perform after dunking. So a little bit of an experiment here for us as well. We're going to kick off above water though and we're going to start by playing some Madame Butterfly Opera on the HTC J Butterfly 2 using our trusty Huawei Ascend Mate 7 with its dual microphones up top and bottom to measure that audio. So let's flip to graph mode and get to it. So stopping that and pressing play on the Z3. So not quite as loud on the opera. How about some pop? Touching on the 70s, now on the Z3. Interestingly, louder than the J Butterfly 2 for pop, not quite as loud for classical music. And now it's time for some hip hop. So we'll start off with the J Butterfly 2. And on the Z3. So the Z3 performs tangibly louder on the other two tracks. How about some classical music to see how the two of them differentiate individual sounds? Once again, consistently louder. That also sounded a little bit crisper. Now moving on to some guitar strumming and vocals. And on the Z3. Yeah, definitely more clarity on the Xperia Z3 than the J Butterfly 2. So we can speed through the next two tracks. Yeah, and again.
So immediately, undeniably, the J Butterfly 2 doesn't quite pack the oomph the Sony Xperia Z3 does, although it does excel in things like opera music. How do they stack up underwater though? Well, we're gonna have to start a song and switch the screen off in order to get this test in motion. So we're gonna start, gonna just play one track with some Freemasons. That's around 54. Pause that. Funnily enough, the touchscreen works incredibly well on the J Butterfly 2 once it's been taken out of water. So that capped at around 54 under water. And we can start with the Xperia Z3. A little bit quieter underwater, pulling it out. Interestingly, that sounds a lot quieter than before it went into the water. So we can prop it up. And indeed, after going underwater, the Xperia Z3 obviously will take a little bit of time in order for that water to dissipate from the speakers. How about the J Butterfly 2? So while the quality sounds inferior on the J Butterfly 2 after that, the volume was definitely there. So. After all of that testing, we can conclude that the Sony Xperia Z3 has the better loudspeaker than the J Butterfly 2. Both perform relatively similarly when they're underwater, but when you take them out, you're gonna need to let the Sony Xperia Z3 dry off before you get that kind of quality back, whereas the J Butterfly 2 will get it back a lot quicker. Hopefully you have enjoyed, found this interesting. We learn as much as you guys doing this. If you've got any ideas for future videos, fire them in the comments section below. If you like the video, click like, and if if you like BTECT in general, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.